So normally, uh, if you don't want to do the uh, quick tape modification, we just put some kind of coating over here, and I, I recommend uh, heat shrink tubing. But I want to uh, make a thicker capstan instead, so I need to modify this. Um, and I, uh, I'm going to take the whole thing off. There's two screws, one over here, one over there. I loosen them up, and you can see the encoder. And uh, I'm going to put it. This is a ace inch pin. I'm going to put it back on the pin so I can work that uh, device on the lays and my wonderful lays is over here somewhere there you go and uh, uh, I'm first going <laughs> actually going to make this smaller so I can put a cap that's bigger and fits around it and uh, we'll see how that works so here's my capstan on the pin which I can now mount on the lays I just machine my little uh, capstan head thinner enough so I can put my little extra piece that I did. I just machine a simple one. So here's my extended capstan head. So okay, my new capstan is now glued. Um, and previously I had tried one of the tricks that I read about, which was the uh, surgical tubing, uh, which is really nice and soft uh, and fit well over this. This is a 9mm outside diameter uh, tubing, 6mm inside. But instead uh, I take this uh, heat shrink tubing and that uh, 3 8 tubing right here. I cut a piece of it of about the right uh, size and so let's see and uh, maybe I'll put two of those on each other, we'll see. Uh, right. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's do it about the same size here. And just we should measure it, but eyeballing it is not too bad. So let's just experiment. Let's see. That looks pretty squishy. Ten point ten point five. So it's actually still slightly under spec. Uh, but probably close enough. I'm, I'm going to stay at two. So apparently you could put a third one, and that gave me 0.5. So the third one would put you slightly over spec. Let's see how that one works. 